And into the 2025 hurricane season, NOAA's hurricane hunters are preparing their fleet and testing out some new technology. ABC Action News reporter Rebecca Petit is taking us on a tour of NOAA's base in Lakeland. She has a look at how their work is helping forecasters during hurricane season. Our job is really to help the pilots figure out where to go. As a flight director and meteorologist for NOAA, Jonathan Zawislock helps guide pilots during hurricane hunter missions. It's all pretty bad weather up in a hurricane but we want to find the best route. So we want to find the best route through the eye wall, find the center, maneuver around those really intense outer rain bands. If we don't have to put the airplane through severe turbulence, we're not going to do it. As hurricane season approaches, lots of preparation is going on to make sure the Hurricane Hunter fleet at NOAA's Aircraft Operations Center is ready to go. The aircraft is currently being equipped with operational instruments that collect data needed to understand the storm. And then there's going to be research instruments as well. Those research instruments are the new technology, the future, that we want to sample and experiment with to see how is it going to help us understand the storm in the future and forecast better in the future. NOAA recently began deploying drones inside the storm where conditions are the most chaotic and too dangerous for pilots. They are most deployed instrumentation. Um, so these drop wind sounds, they capture things like GPS data with regards to temperature, wind speed, uh, humidity, pressure, any type of meteorological parameter that you might want to get and record inside of the hurricane environment. And so we'll pepper the storm with these. While hurricane hunters are in the air, data is transmitted in real time to the National Hurricane Center for forecasting and models. The entire purpose of the mission and the reason why our crews are deploying into these storm systems is to be sure that the people that are in harm's way are listening to the warnings, listening to your local emergency officials and, and heeding what they're saying. I'm Polk County reporter Rebecca Petit, ABC Action News.